Um, running for uh, circuit court judge. There's a uh, little, little, not a lot I can, does, can discuss with you about policy and positions, but what I can tell about you is when it comes to my family, public service is in our DNA, okay? And, and I'm not just saying that. Those of you that have had the fortune of meeting my, fa my father, Marty Kerner, he's a former uh, major of Lake Worth Police Department many moons ago, as he would say. My mom, former IRS agent. Uh, with both of those, we used to stop getting invites to any of the parties. Then those of you that know my brother, uh, Dave Kerner, on the Palm Beach County Commission, all of a sudden the invites started coming again. So we're back on track. Uh, I also want to tell you I'm a native here in Palm Beach County. I think that's important. Uh, born and raised in Palm Beach County, I attended Santa Lucia's High School. Um, went to school, uh, college in upstate New York, and then like so many of us do, came right back home to go to law school in uh, Miami. Been practicing 10 years, civil litigator. All I do is attend court, I'm in front of the judge, and uh, I want to thank you for your time tonight. And I know this is a voting group here, so I know you all get out and vote. And thank you. Is uh, from group 13, do I, is, uh, there you are, I knew you were there, and I'm going to do my best to pronounce your name. Uh, Ancola? Saint Just. Good evening, my name is Alcoya St. Just, and I'm running for circuit judge here in group 13 as well. Um, I am here, born and raised here in Boynton East, Florida. Um, I have been a Florida native my entire life. Um, I attended Poinciana Elementary School in Boynton Beach, Lantana Middle School, and Lake Grove High School. Um, I attended college at Florida State University, and then I went on to finish my law career for law school at Nova Southeastern University. I've been practicing here in Palm Beach County for about 14 and a half years. Um, I started my career working with the Florida Department of Children and Families where I represented the best interests of children who've been abused, abandoned, or neglected. From there, I went out and I started my own private practice where I practice, I continue to practice dependency law um, where I represent indigent parents, those who are unable to afford legal representation, who are involved in cases where they've been accused of abuse, abandonment, or neglect. And I also represent special needs children who are involved in the dependency system, those children that have been abused, abandoned, neglected, or are at risk of being abused, abandoned, or neglected, but those with special needs, um, children who have been involved in human trafficking, children who are at risk of being placed on psychotropic medication, children who are at risk of being placed in a mental health facility, and children with educational needs. Um, I also practice some family law where I represent individuals involved in dissolution of marriage cases, paternity, um, child support, things of that nature. Um, just a little bit about me. I'm married. My husband is over here, Sonny St. Just Jr. Um, I have two children, Jordan and Jeremiah. They are 8 and 11. Um, and my family is from here as well. And my husband is also born and raised here in Palm Beach County. Um, just about my qualifications, I have been vetted by the Judicial Nominating Commission. Um, that is the commission who selects attorneys to be um, sent to the governor for appointment. You can either be elected or appointed. Um, I have been sent up to the governor after being vetted um, by the attorneys who spoke to the attorneys that I work with, as well as the judges that I practiced before, to ensure that I was a credible candidate for submission to the governor. Um, I'm looking for your vote on August 28th, and when you go to the polls, just remember, St. Just is for all. Thank you. I'm going to repeat that date to everyone. It's um, August 28th, make sure you go to the polls, and for those of us who come to West Boca meetings, make sure you tell your neighbors um, and homeowners near you that there is, that this election is August 28th. And we have absentee ballots. And we have absentee ballots here. On the applications. On the uh, applications on the counter, thank you. Circuit group 18. Um, Maxine Chessman, 
it's cheese with me. I just pronounced that to you, and then I, then I, then I said it wrong. Oh, I just I wanted to do it correctly now. Cheese with me. Nice to see you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. It's really important that you come out and see who these judges are that you're going to vote for. So I'm one of them. And this is my brochure. You have it right there in front of you, and you can follow along if you'd like. I'm a 39-year resident of Florida, a 23-year resident of Palm Beach County. I'm an attorney, a scientist, a hydrogeologist, a former division director with the South Florida Water Management District, and a community leader. I know that's a lot. I'm going to break it down for you. I've been an attorney for the last 13 years. I've been practicing in almost every division of the civil court. I've litigated in probate, real estate, foreclosure, um, contracts, construction law, family law, employment law, bankruptcy and, 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 um, fam and family, not sorry, fa bankruptcy and employment law and fair housing litigation. I've practiced also in federal court. I'm admitted to obviously the state court and the middle and, cent and southern district of Florida on the federal side. Prior to becoming an attorney, I was a 27 year public servant working in Miami-Dade County uh, Department of Environmental Resources as a scientist and a hydrogeologist. And then I became uh, the division director of the South Florida Water Management District, saving the Everglades. That's why you all can feel so good and look out and see, well, not the pool, but whatever else. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, I'm a little bit different from the rest of the candidates in, in my race, simply because of my scientific and environmental education. My experience has, is going to be able to deal with the complex environmental issues that come before the, the, the circuit court. I can handle these cases because I understand the science and the environmental in, in, um, issues behind them. I'm also an active community leader. I've been on peace. I don't know if you know peace. People engage in active community efforts where I've lobbied the commission, Palm Beach County Commission, to implement the wage theft ordinance that now exists. I've been involved with the homeless um, most of my life here in Florida. I've been feeding the homeless. I've been on the um, advisory committee for the city of West Palm Beach, Grassy Waters Preserve. And most importantly, I've been endorsed by some great people. Our own favorite commissioner, <laughs> Mary Lou Berger. Um, also, uh, Mac Bernard, I almost said Bernie Mac, please don't tell him. <laughs> Mac Bernard, a lot of um, the mayors from Lantana, uh, City of Belgrade, uh, South Bay, all over. It, it's on my website if you go ahead and look. I'm Maxine Cheeseman. Please remember to go vote on August 28th. And remember, when you go in there, stop, smile, and say cheese. Man. <laughs> Mary Bell Coleman. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mary Bell Reynoso Coleman, and I am also running for Circuit Court Judge Group 18. Uh, Palm Beach County has been my home for the last 47 years. I was born in Cuba. I came when I was four years old because my parents wanted me to have a better opportunity at life. An opportunity such as this to stand before you seeking a seat to the circuit court. Um, I have practiced law in Palm Beach County for 25 years. And I've been very fortunate that my experience has been in every single one of the five circuit court divisions. I started my career at the office of the state attorney's office. I came in with Barry Krischer, and there I ended up specializing in crimes against children and sex crimes. I also did homicides and armed robberies. After that, I had the ability to go to a small firm where I was fortunate to do personal injury, commercial litigation, probate litigation, and now for the past eight years, I've been a sole practitioner where I do family law. Circuit court, we've been hearing some from the candidates, and circuit court is a very serious position. We are dealing in circuit court criminal with judges who are going to decide whether someone is going to be sentenced to life in prison or someone's gonna be sentenced to the electric chair or uh, to the death penalty here in Florida. 
I have litigated first degree murder cases. Circuit Court Civil is going to decide if a loved one is, um, uh, dies or passes away during a medical malpractice action of a doctor, whether that case is viable and is going to go before the jury. And I have practiced in circuit civil and I have done medical malpractice cases, personal injury cases. There's circuit probate and that judge there is going to decide whether your spouse is going to be the personal representative of your state, whether your children are going to inherit because you were of sound mind. And I have litigated and probate uh, circuit court. Circuit court family, which is what I do now, is divorces and child custody, and they decide whether a parent is going to have time sharing and how much time sharing. These are serious decisions, and this is what I've been doing for the last eight years. And finally is the circuit juvenile division. And circuit juvenile division handles two things, dependencies and delinquencies. Dependencies are when children are uh, removed from a home because a parent is unfair. So a circuit judge is deciding if that's appropriate. I have lived in that courtroom. And on the delinquency action is whether a juvenile is charged with a crime, what kind of punishment, and I have done that. The vast uh, majority of my experience has been in a courtroom. I have a passion and a law for the, lo uh, for the law that I got at a very early age having come here from a country that had one person in power. Here we have three branches of government. And I hope to see you at the polls on August 28th, and I hope to see you vote for Mary Bell Reynoso Coleman. Thank you so much for your time. And for, again, for group 18, Joe Mariuma, did I say that right? Yes. Right. Got the joke part right, I know. <laughs> no, Mary, you might, so. <laughs> You know, my foot was actually falling asleep, so let me. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, before I talk a little bit about myself, I just want to say that I love the city of Boca. Uh, I went to college right down the street here at Florida Atlantic University, where I got my degree in criminal justice. And my first job out of college was actually working as a security guard at various gated communities here in Boca Raton. So I have some strong ties to Boca. Now, um, a little bit about myself. I was born and raised here in South Florida. My parents are working class Jewish immigrants. My mom is a small business owner. My dad has worked for two kosher markets his entire life and he's still going, he's 75 years old, and every day, six days a week, he drives from Boynton to Aventura and back. God bless him. Um, as far as uh, my education, I was the first in my family to go to college. I attended law school at Florida International University in Miami. I live in West Palm Beach with my wife, Lina. We've been there for about 12 years. We have two little ones, a one-year-old and a three-year-old, two little girls. So as you can imagine, doing all this campaigning is like my third full-time job. Um, it gets hectic, you know, but I managed to do it because um, I want to be a judge, and that's my passion, and that's been my goal for the past several years. A little bit about my professional career. I've, when I was in law school, I worked for the state attorney's office here in Palm Beach County. I was a certified intern. I had my own caseload. Um, I tried uh, about a dozen cases, DUIs, batteries, uh, various nature of county court cases. I also clerked for the U.S. Attorney's Office in law school where I interned in the Economic Crimes Division, and that was in Miami. After graduating law school, I began my career as an assistant public defender here in Palm Beach County. I've worked there for almost 12 years now. During that time, I've been in court day in, day out. I've represented hundreds, if not thousands, of clients. I've had over 100 jury trials, and ranging from homicide to simple traffic offenses. And I've been in front of many judges, and I've seen what works and what doesn't work. And what I've learned is that a judge should be fair, respectful, and efficient. It's as simple as that. I've dedicated my entire 
professional career to serving the public. And that's what I want to continue doing as judge. Again, my name is Joseph Mariuma, and I'm running for circuit court judge on August 28th. And if you can't remember how to pronounce my last name, because a lot of people can't, even though you got it right, um, just remember what my three-year-old says. Joe for judge. Thank you. <laughs> And our last group for circuit court is uh, group 25, and we have Harry Quinn Johnson. <clears throat> Good evening, my name is Quinn Johnson, and I'm the only combat veteran in the race. I earned a bronze star in 2008 after a year of service in Afghanistan, and I subsequently earned a Legion of Merit for my service. And <clears throat> my military service lends itself to, talk to the type of judge I will be and the type of leader I will be in, uh, in the circuit court. When I came off of active duty in uh, 1992, <clears throat> I left uh, Fort Campbell, 101st Airborne Division, and I moved to Florida, uh, completed grad school and then law school at the University of Florida. Remained in the reserves and <clears throat> continued in the reserves while I was in law school. And so for the past 20 years, I've been working two jobs, one as a civilian attorney and also as a JAG officer in the United States Army. As a <clears throat> civilian attorney, I've done everything. I was a former prosecutor, former defense attorney, uh, solo practitioner, <clears throat> where I've covered family law cases, juvenile cases, probate cases, family law, everything. I've done it all. And the same thing in the airport as a JAG officer. I've done everything. I served as a detention operations judge advocate for the Bagram Theater Internment Facility in Afghanistan, and also as a chief of military justice in Afghanistan, where we had about 33,000 troops. Now, we're still a, a nation at war, and we kind of saw what happened last week in Kabul, and also more recently in this week. And so I tell you that to say this, because I know that at the end of the month, Memorial Day is coming up. And so I just want everyone to be uh, cognizant of what is happening, you know, even, it's, even if it's in a different country, but we're still a nation at war. And I also wanted to just kind of point out that because of my service and my commitment uh, uh, as an officer and, and as a public servant, I'm also a part of the Veterans uh, Forum Boards. And I actually belong to the post that's right over here on Palmetto Drive, Palmetto Park Road at the Veterans Park. And so uh, I'm very fortunate to be a part of that unit. We have individuals who served during World War II, during the Korean War, during the Vietnam War, and also in <clears throat> Iraq and Afghan uh, veterans such as myself. And so I just uh, <clears throat> want you to remember Quinn Johnson for Judge Group 25, uh, August the 28th. Uh, please keep me in mind, ask for your prayers, and ask for your vote. Thank you very much. And I thank all of you for coming pretty close to honoring that time. I'm trying to have everyone have an opportunity to speak. Michael McCullough. Good evening, I'm Michael McAuliffe and I am a candidate in group 25 for circuit judge. So that's the what. I wanna now talk about the who and then we'll end on the why I'm running. Uh, I, I started, I've been a practicing lawyer for 29 years, almost three decades. I started my career as a federal civil rights prosecutor at the Justice Department in Washington. By the time I was 28 years old, I had prosecuted the head of the Ku Klux Klan and 13 of his associates for hate crimes in Louisiana. I later tried and convicted a member of the White Aryan Resistance in Southern California. And then really, my first job was traveling the country, uh, uh, chasing down and holding accountable people who would hurt others for what they are, not who they are. Uh, I then uh, went overseas with my new wife, Robin Rosenberg, who's still my wife 25 years later, and helped start a reform law faculty in the Czech Republic after the fall of communism uh, in, um, in Eastern Europe. And uh, came back, 
joined the U.S. Attorney's Office here in the Southern District of Florida, and I was a federal prosecutor for several years here, prosecuting all different types of case, cases, and then became the Civil Rights Division Chief uh, of the U.S. Attorney's Office and supervised, again, hate crimes, uh, official misconduct, corruption cases, and in the involuntary servitude or human trafficking cases as we know them now. I left the U.S. Attorney's Office as a section chief and joined a large law firm as a, a partner, Colin DeKnight, and pra uh, practiced in uh, state and federal courts for several years, and then went into practice with my wife, Robin Rosenberg, and we represented uh, plaintiffs uh, in employment and labor disputes. I then ran and served as your state attorney, as some of you will remember, uh, and, um, and in that capacity as your elected state attorney, I supervised an office of 125 lawyers and 200 support staff and was responsible for several hundred thousand prosecutions trying to hold those accountable who hurt and, uh, and committed state crimes. Uh, I, I then left with the general counsel of a large corporation uh, for, um, for four years and now I'm back reintroducing myself to you and as a community to re-enter public service. Uh, and uh, I am out of time for that nice ring mm -hmm. uh, and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much. Sarah Willis. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Sarah Willis, and I have devoted my career to service in the courtroom. I am a Florida native, born and raised in Gainesville, FAU graduate, and FSU College of Law. I have started my career here at the State Attorney's Office. I started as a CLI with Mr. Mary Yuma as well. And as soon as I graduated from law school, I uh, became an attorney for the State Attorney's Office under Barry Krischer. I had the honor of ultimately getting to prosecute cases in the Crimes Against Children Unit. That was my passion for over two and a half years, and I was able to give a voice to some of the most vulnerable victims of some of the worst crimes trying capital sexual battery and um, even homicides. I went from there to the Office of Statewide Prosecution to continue my career in public service, where I prosecuted more organized, um, multi-jurisdictional cases here in Palm Beach County and throughout the state. I participated in a prosecution of the top six gang. I, I handled uh, homicides child pornography, and I had the unique opportunity of being able to instruct law enforcement and other first responders and uh, providers, service providers, on investigating, prosecuting, human trafficking, crimes against children. I have now served over three and a half years as a general magistrate here in Palm Beach County. I left that spot last Monday because I'm required to resign in order to run, and I am committed to public service in Palm Beach County, and that's why I was willing to take that step. I want to serve the community. I want to serve this county. Um, and I have, as a personal note, I do have two children as well. I have a 17-month-old son and a six-year-old daughter, and she traveled with me to file my papers to qualify for this seat. I ask for your vote for Group 25, Circuit Court Judge Sarah Willis. Thank you. Um, we are going to move from circuit court to um, county court, and you know, I'm watching the kids here too. Uh, and and um, we're going to group four. And do I have Alan Ambrosino here? Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't think so. Lloyd, you can do it the opposite. Lloyd Commodore. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lloyd Commodore, and I'm running for County Court Judge Group Number Four here in Palm Beach County. I've been practicing law for 27 years now, and the majority of my work is in the County Court Division. Although I've done some, I've done, I do Circuit Court stuff, including Family Law some probates and bankruptcy, but my passion lies in the county court division. So typical cases would be things such as disputes with your auto body repair shop, disputes with your, um, the window installer at your house, 
um, small business disputes. That's the kind of work I love doing. Um, as a former civil traffic hearing officer, I've served in a quasi-judicial role on the bench in the county court division where I've adjudicated traffic citations. I'm a Florida Supreme Court certified county court mediator where I mediate in the county court division, mediating landlord tenant cases and small claims cases. Like um, Alkaya mentioned, I've also been nominated by the Judicial Nominating Commission three times for a county court judicial vacancy. I love the county court division, that's where my passion lies and that's what I want to do. I want to make your county court experience um, knowledgeable and um, know that I have the same passion that you deserve. From a personal standpoint, I'm married to Merrill. We've been married for 23 years now. We have three kids, all here in South Florida. Uh, my daughter is at West Boca, my, my one daughter is at Tulane University, and my son is at Northeastern University. I've been a resident of South Florida since 1967, and a resident of about the West Boca area since 1994. I would love your consideration on August 28th for Lloyd Commodore, County Court Group number four. Thank you. Gabe Ehrman. Hi, thank you everybody. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm going to tell you why I want to be a judge, and then I'm going to tell you about my training and my experience to be a judge. So about myself, I'm a first generation American on my mother's side. Um, my grandmother was liberated, thankfully, from Auschwitz. My grandfather was in Russia. He's Poland, a uh, Polish, but was in Russia in the Siberian camp, was liberated and survived. Unfortunately, nobody else really did. My grandfather moved to Israel. My grandmother moved to Israel. They met, they got married. They had my mom and my aunt. And then when my mom was in elementary school, they moved to America. They moved to Cleveland, Ohio. The reason they moved to Cleveland was my grandfather knew somebody who knew somebody who was in Cleveland. <laughs> I was born in Cleveland. I moved to Palm Beach County in 1985. I'm married to my wife, Pam. She's a doctor over in Boynton Beach. She is a graduate of Olympic Heights. She is uh, privileges at Bethesda and RA. I have three kids, Eli, my three-year-old, should be asleep right now, but I have Hannah, who's five, and Bina, who is six. For the past 12 years, did I say six? No, you said five. <laughs> Hannah's five, Bina's eight. For the past 12 years, we live off Lions in West RA Beach. <coughs> When I was uh, a first year law student, about 15 years ago, I got an internship my first summer out of law school clerking for a judge. And I was with this judge every single day. We were in chambers in the morning, I sat on the bench with him during uh, a court, and then after court we went back to chambers, the two of us, and we discussed the cases. And I saw firsthand the impact that he made on the cases and the people and the lives of everyone that came before him. We talked intimately about all of the cases for an entire summer. And, and when that summer was done, I remember saying to my wife, to Pam, who's been with her for 18 years now, that I was moved by what I saw, by what Judge Schwartz did, and that one day I will be a judge. And my entire career, I have worked towards that goal. I've been in public service virtually my entire career. Finishing up in law school, I did over 300 hours pro bono for free at the state attorney's office. I then got a job and worked as a prosecutor. I then switched side and over for a decade. For more than a decade now, I've been at the public defender's office. I'm in court every single day. I have tried as lead counsel more than 100 jury trials. I'm capital certified to handle death penalty litigation and homicide cases, which I do pretty much exclusive at this point. I teach and lecture younger and newer attorneys on case law, jury selection, cross-examination. I read the case law updates every week. I will bring this passion, my love, and my knowledge of the law with me, God willing, if I'm elected to be your next Palm Beach County Court judge. And it's important that, I, that, that you elect somebody who has the experience and the knowledge of the law. Because what happens is, if a judge gets it wrong, the appellate court reverses, and it comes back to a trial level again. 
It's a huge expense to the taxpayers of Palm Beach County. So it's important that the judges get it right and know what they're doing, and I know what I'm doing. Thank you. Gabe Herman. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Allegra Fong. I'm running for county court judge. Um, everybody's here talking about their family, so I'm going to tell you a story about my brother. He's an artist, and he was uh, recently in the, the Sunfest show this past week weekend. So I asked him, I said, okay, well, will you campaign for me? Talk to your people when they buy your art. So he said, sure, no problem. He's like, I got the word out there. Everybody knows about you. So I said, well, wait a minute. What'd you do? And he said, he says, oh, well, I said, she's great. She's my big sister. She has two kids. She rescues dogs and she raises tortoises. I said, that's it? He says, yeah. And he said, they all said their vote for you. I said, well, <laughs> luckily, I actually have more qualifications than just those things. Um, I've actually been practicing here in Palm Beach County for 18 years. I started my career as a public defender. I've worked my way through the ranks from the juvenile division to the misdemeanor division to the felony division. I was in court every day, honing my skills as a trial advocate, uh, motions, hearings, practicing in court every day. Shortly thereafter, I uh, started my own practice. For about six years I did that and a little bit of family law. And I realized I needed to have a little bit more experience in the civil litigation world if I ever intended to become a judge. So I went and I worked for the big corporations, Citizens, Tower Hill. I worked and did insurance defense for three years. I had trial experience, motion practice, hearings, everything, you name it. For the last seven years, I have almost seven years, I have uh, been the senior trial attorney doing foreclosure defense and homeowner advocacy. So let me back up a little bit. Out of the three branches of government, only one can put you in jail or take away your house, and that is the judiciary. So it is very, very important that the community know who they are electing and to know whether or not each candidate is qualified. County court is, consists of two halves, civil practice or criminal practice. I am the only candidate that has substantial practice in both. Vote for Allegra. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the bell. Thank you. Thank you. Ashley Zuckerman? Okay. Thank you. Ashley, I knew you were here. I knew it was for a friend's day. Thank you. Good evening. Wow, this is close. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and thank you to all of you for coming tonight. You've heard from a lot of candidates. You're going to hear from me, too. Uh, my name is Ashley Zuckerman. I'm running for county court judge in group four. I'm running for judge because I think it's important to have an effective and efficient courtroom while making sure that everybody's rights are protected. I work at the Public Defender's Office. I'm a supervisor right now in county court, meaning I train and I supervise the new attorneys. I've handled over 70 jury trials to verdict, and right now as a supervisor, I sit in on trials for the new attorneys, I go to their motion hearings, I'm in court every single day. That's something that's important, and you've heard that, that it's important to have judicial candidates, candidates who have actually been in court. The county court is often called the people's court because it's where small claims are brought, it's where a lot of clients go pro se. I think what's important is to have someone with a careful demeanor who respects everybody's rights. I think that that's important. I think that I embody those qualities. I was born in upstate New York. I came to Florida to be close to my family. My grandparents opened a business in Miami 40 years ago. It's still family owned. I went to Florida Atlantic University, and I put myself through college working as a teller at Bank of America. I actually worked at Powerline and Palmetto Bank of America. I drove by and waved tonight. <laughs> I went to Nova for law school, and I've been with the Public Defender's Office since. I think it's important to stay in public service because that's what we're doing and hoping to get to, at this stage, running as candidates. I want to stay in public service. I was raised to believe that public service is important, and that's why I stayed at the public defender's office. Staying at the public defender's office means that I'm in court every single day. I do substantial amount with the new attorneys. I also handle my own cases. When I had my material printed back in December, I think I was in the 60s for jury trials. I'm in the 70s right now because I keep trying cases. 
I'm asking for your vote, August 28th. My name is Ashley Zuckerman. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are that is group four and group five. Sarah. No, I know. Okay. No, <laughs> Sarah knows how to pronounce her last name. Hi, uh, thanks everybody for coming and we're on the home stretch. My name is Sarah Alyevich. Good evening. I'm in County Court Group 5. A um, little bit about myself, I'll keep it brief. I've been a resident of Florida for over 30 years. I've lived in Wellington for the last, over the last 20 years where my husband Alex and I raised our two children. My son Michael lives in Arlington, Virginia, where he works in an international student exchange program. And my daughter Katie is 30, and she is the Deputy Director of Medicaid for the state of Rhode Island. So needless to say, I'm very proud of my children. And I have a grandson who just turned nine months old. I've been a lawyer for over 23 years, and I was fortunate enough to get my first job working at the Legal Aid Society of Palm Beach County, where I began serving the public. While at the Legal Aid Society, I represented clients who ranged from being a victim of domestic violence, to homeless families, seniors, and children who are in foster care. Legal Aid Society gave me a great background, and while I was there, I was fortunate enough to create something called the Medical Legal Partnership Project. That was a project where we partnered up with Palm Beach County Healthcare District. We provided a direct legal services to any patient of that clinic. In 2010, I was really fortunate enough to have been hired as a general magistrate in Palm Beach County Courts. You might ask what a general magistrate does because it's an unusual position. Well, we work for the county, we work in all the courthouses. We're assigned cases and we do all the hearings and all the trials and we issue all the rulings on the cases that come before us and we're responsible for managing very heavy caseloads. The things that magistrates deal with are the things that impact your life every day. Child custody, alimony, child support, mental health cases, substance abuse cases, and guardianship matters. I know that you want your day in court, and I know that you want to be treated fairly, and I know that you want the person who's hearing your case to listen to you. Primarily the people we would work with in magistrates are pro se people, people not represented by counsel. So I have a lot of experience shepherding people through the court system. I'll conclude with I am confident that I have the knowledge and experience to operate a court officially my first day on the job. And my name is Ali Evich, and it's terrible. Just remember, Sarah has experience that ranges from A to Z, and I will be the only one on the ballot. <laughs> Thank you. Do we have Doug Lightfoot here? Richard. 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 Good evening, my name is Jeremy Zupkoff and I'm running for County Court, Group 5. You know, I, I'm born in New York, I grew up in California, I often get asked, how does a Californian end up in Florida? Well, my grandfather lived down here, my Zadie. He got sick, so I moved out here to help him a long time ago and fell in love with Florida. Then I fell in love, got married, had three children. My oldest son, Jordan, who's here, who many of you have met. Uh, as an attorney, I've handled almost every single type of case you can imagine. I've practiced in federal court, as state court, and county court, circuit court, dealing with almost every civil case that's out there. Right now, I've been specialized in condominium and HOA litigation, and as a condo HOA lawyer, I get to see, again, everything, because if you can imagine, anything that happens will happen in a condo or HOA. As an advantage of it, as well, I also get to be a plaintiff half the time and a defendant half the time. So I know what it's like to be on both sides of the table, which will be very useful as a judge. In addition, as a condo HOA lawyer, I've really learned to deal with difficult people. Then <laughs> something that'll be useful as a judge. I'm also asked, why do you want to be a judge? It's an important question. For me, it's a matter of public service. My mother was a public school teacher who taught special education for her entire career. Every day, she would come, come home exhausted from work, but she always had a smile on her face. The reason she had that smile was because she was helping people. I'm looking for that same satisfaction in my career. 
you know, and, and this is something I can make a career out of. And it takes time to become a great judge. And if you, I have the time to put in to become a great judge. And if you elect me, I promise you I will be one of the best judges in Palm Beach County. So, you know, I, I'm going to try to give you a clever way to remember my name. Normally I would tell you, vote for the Z, but then we have another candidate with a Z in their name. I'll tell you to vote for Jordan's dad, another candidate has a Jordan. So I'll leave you with this. Vote for Jay-Z for judge. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Those are all the groups for judicial candidates. I thank you for um, all that you have said and, and hope that our guests um, have been able to take from that and um, know what you're going to the polls to do. We have one last race here, and it's not judicial. Um, it is for state representative, and we have two candidates here. And that is Mindy, uh, Mindy Cope. That's District 81. District 81. House District 81. Hi, my name is <coughs> Mindy Koch. I live right here in Bocalago. Uh, my mother's lived here in Bocalago since 1978, since they probably put the shovels in the ground here. She was the club champ out here on this old golf course. I'm just. Um, I've lived in Boca for um, over 30 years, raised my family here. I can honestly tell you, I am the only one speaking you t to you tonight who is not an attorney. <laughs> I am a school teacher, <laughs> and I have been a school teacher for 40 years. I retired after 41 years of service to Palm Beach County and uh, Broward County. After retiring, I played a little golf, I did a little politics, I ran a uh, local political club here. I'm the president of the Boca Del Rey Democratic Club, so some of you may know me from there. Um, I've registered about 2,000 voters in the last year and a half, I guess. So you may have seen me doing that as well. Um, but I discovered that my passion is really in public service. And that's what brought me to this race. Uh, I feel that I can make a tremendous difference in our legislature. I hope you will agree with me. Um, as we go down the road, the election is, of course, not until August. I'm sure you will hear us more than once, and you will be able to make your own decision. But my name is Mindy Koch. No relation to the brothers. <laughs> and I'm running for House District 81, and I'd appreciate your vote on August 28th. Thank you. 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 Thank Last but not least, I hope. Um, first of all, happy National Teachers Day to Mindy, Ellen, and the other teachers in the room. Um, my name is Tina Polsky, and keeping with the theme of the night, I am also an attorney, uh, but I practiced in New York, and I worked in big firms and companies, uh, did employment law litigation, and I moved to Florida 13 years ago. I decided to become a mediator here because I was sick of the fighting, and so uh, in mediation, we resolve cases and help the parties come to a resolution to very opposing sides. And we negotiate and compromise and spend all day and come to a great resolution. And I think that is the perfect, uh, perfect skill set to bring to the Florida legislature, which is having some issues getting along and getting bipartisan bills passed. I have lived in West Boca in the same house in Boca Falls for the past 13 years. I have a 17-year-old daughter, a 14-year-old son, they're in the public schools here. We need to keep funding the public schools. We are the lowest, among the lowest teacher salary and per pupil ratio, uh, uh, excuse me, pupil spending in the country in one of the largest states. So we need to fix that. We need to work on climate change, environmental solutions, gun control. We need to do more than we've been doing. We need, oh, there's my two minutes. Oh, okay, so, uh, and, we need to work on equal rights. I'm very concerned about what's going on in other states, and Florida's very close. 
They are chipping away at our rights, women's rights, right to choose, and we need to fight for that. As a Democrat, we will be in the minority party in the House, but I will fight as hard as I can, use my voice, use my negotiating skills, use the ability to compromise to get things done. So I hope that on August 28th, you can vote for me in the primary, and then hopefully in the election in November 6th. Tina Polsky for State House 81. Thank you. Thank you all. We have an opportunity for questions or comments if anyone would like to tackle that. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Go ahead. Is there only one judge available in each group? Yes. yes. So there are there are five there are um, five groups. So yes, you would be able to vote for five judges, um, three circuit, two county. One each. One each group. Thanks for asking that because it is. You know, I, I, and, and Evelyn, can I just add one thing? Everyone in Palm Beach County, because of all the judicial races are nonpartisan, everyone in Palm Beach County, as long as you're registered, gets to vote for a candidate in each of the group numbers for both county and for circuit. Thank you, Lloyd. Yeah, so this is not, even though there it's there is a primary election also, this you are able to go and vote. You should go and vote if not able, you should go. Any other questions or comments? Who can vote in 81? Excuse me? Who can vote in 81? Oh, I can explain. Thank you. <laughs> District 81 is, uh, there's three districts that cover the city of Boca we're in. So we are the western side of Boca. Everything west of the turnpike, up through Delray, Boynton, and Lake Worth, west of the turnpike, and that includes the Glades area. Belblades, South Bay, and Pahokee. It's a very large geographic district. Okay. Any other questions for the good of the whole? Well, then know that um, we will not have a general meeting until after this election. We will meet again in September, and we will see you on the 4th in our wonderful celebration of the park.